Hello and welcome. So the drag control is one of the amazing controls that we have. It allows us to simply drag the form around the working area or screen of the display. So the by default the WinForms allows you to drag. For example, let me open the notepad and you can see right there the top bar which is the title. It allows me to drag and also to to dock as you can see we have the docking indicator right there so the similar dragging can be applied in the wind forms when we undecorate the form so an undecorated form is just when we remove the control boxes here and then the title the section the nav bar so to speak if you're familiar with uh, with web but for those only familiar with wind forms we're talking of this part which has the control boxes and the title which allows you to drag around the form so we'd like to see how we can use the drag control in the framework to achieve similar functionality so out of the box the drag control does not target any control we have to set the control so this time we want to target the form so we haven't changed the name of the form by default is form 1 so it will show as form 1 so let's run and see what we get. So we have targeted the form itself as the the controller that is going to drag. So let's see if this is going to work. There it is. We can now drag the form. And you can see that we can drag it any way we want. So let's see some customizations that we can make. We'd like to see if we can target uh, other controls and also want to see if it allows us to dock so let's wait uh, some seconds for the controls to load and in the meantime we can find a panel that we're going to drag and drop here so let's find a panel and we like to dock the panel to the top and change the size and possibly would like to change the color of the panel let's set it to this shade of blue right now let's focus on our drag con drag component as you can see we can change the drag orientation if it's horizontal it will only drag horizontal or vertical but this time we'd like to allow the docking form to true and the docking indicator is set to white and the dock indicator transparency is 60%. Let's change it to 10%, a very low value. And the transparency, let's leave it to 100. And the drag mode is set to the, the form. Let's change to control. And let's change the target to panel let's leave the drag mode to form for the meantime because we're dragging the form but the target control is the panel let's run the project and see what we have so let's wait some few seconds to to see the form build and then run right you can see there we have some docking the form has been docked and now we can drag we cannot drag the form itself but we can use the panel right there to drag it just as we have shown here we cannot drag the notepad working area or the typing area we cannot even drag the toolbar but we can drag this part which is the control boxes and the titles so similarly we can do the same here as you can see right there so we can disable also the transparency so let's see from the properties list we can disable the transparency and we can also enable the transparency so let's give some few seconds today my system is uh, a bit slow i'm not sure why so here as you can see the docking uh, 
the drag end transparency is set to 100. It simply means that the color that will be applied to the parent or the foam when the drag ends. So if you want a solid color, it will be 100%. But if it's another value, it will be a transparency value set to that. So for example, it's 50% and this is white. And now when we drag, you'd like to see when the drag ends, the color that will be applied to the foam. So make sure that if you want a solid color, the drag end value is always 100%, which is the maximum. As you can see, the dragging has end, but the foam is 50% transparent or semi-transparent. It's not a solid white color. So make sure that when we want to apply a solid color to your foam when the drag ends, the drag end value has to be 100%, which is 1% really which translates to one in an rgba value so it's 100 percent solid let's revert back to solid right drag orientation you can change to horizontal or vertical you can drag either horizontally only or vertical only so these are some of the controls that we have right there in the drag control I invite you please to try this component and see how it works for you you can undecorate your form and then you can put further customizations according to your needs. The docking indicator color before we close, I would like you to show that it can change. So let's change this to yellow and then let's run the application. This will be the last demonstration here as you like to see the dock indicator. Docking form has been set to true and we have changed the color that will be shown for the docking indicator. So let's see if the yellow will be applied right there it is and the orientation by the way it's set to vertical so we cannot drag horizontally but if it's changed to both as the default then we can drag to any direction all right guys thank you so much for being with me here and i will see you in the next video